I'm telling y'all, this better be a, a nude that I don't have for everybody to be going crazy over this color. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So we are back with another beauty haul, but this time it's drugstore and affordable products. You guys know I just uploaded my Sephora haul last week and this time we are digging into all of the new releases that are affordable. So I went to Target, I also went to Ulta and I also went to Walmart, but most of the things that I have in here are from Target. So let's go okay the first couple of things i want to show you guys are new skincare products did y'all know that black radiance has skincare i had no idea so they sent over a pr package which included all of their new skincare products so let me show y'all what we got all right so this is what their packaging looks like it's the pink and black um if i can find them online i'll definitely link them down below for you guys because i honestly don't know how much these are i'm pretty sure they're affordable because black radiance is really really affordable so this one is their beauty oil then we have two moisturizers so they have a night cream and a day cream so this one is the day and then this one is the night cream um let me show y'all real quick i haven't even tried these out yet like i don't even know how these are gonna go like i don't know how my skin is gonna react if it does react but let me know if you guys want me to do like a first impression on some of their skincare and also tie it into like a first, Im well, I'm definitely gonna be doing a first impression, um, testing out a lot of the products that I'm sharing with you guys in today's video, but let me know if you would be interested in me um, featuring this in my first impression video on the makeup products. But anyway, this is how they look on the inside. So the daytime cream is like a light yellow and then the nighttime cream is white. So when you open it up, there is a seal. So y'all can see I have not opened these yet. Then they also have a um, clean it up water to foam cleanser. And then the last thing that they have is their scrub it off dual action exfoliator. But yes, let me know if you guys would be interested in me trying a couple of these products out in my full face first impressions video the next product i want to pull out is this new garnier skin active water rose 24 hour moisture cream that's a lot to say but it's their new rose water cream and they have a whole new rose line like they have a new um rose micellar water they have a new another moisturizer um that's rose so they have several different products like in the pink rose collection but i wanted to try this one out because i mean it's me i love a moisturizer and i'm all about trying out different types of moisturizer i love their gel moisturizer it comes in like a little green um jar but it says it's lasting water fresh hydration clean finish so i'm guessing it's gonna be really really lightweight because it does say oh yeah oh okay Looks very, very thin. Mmm, has a really fresh scent. Mmm, I like that. Oh yeah, this is really, really nice. Very lightweight. So it's kind of reminded me of the gel moisturizer, but it's not, it's not as thin as that, but it's not thick, if that makes sense. So it seems to be really, really lightweight. It does absorb into the skin really fast that so I am excited about this okay and next I grabbed another one of my favorite 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 bar soaps this is what I use on my brushes this is all I use to clean my brushes it's called the African black soap by Shea Moisture and I've already done a video cleaning all of my brushes if you guys want to check it out it's kind of like in a vlog so it's pretty lengthy but I'll leave the vlog down below if you guys want to see me wash some of my brushes if you um if you missed that but yes the best soap to clean your brushes it cleans them so fast so quick and you don't have to keep swirling your brushes around um your brushes around on this because it cleans them so so fast so i definitely had to get another one of those okay so elf has come out with several new products let me pull them all out so that way I won't be digging in this bag. I did not realize how many freaking moisturizers I had in this haul until now. And I think I have like, eh, do I have, let 
me see. Yeah, so I have one more to share and the other ones are kind of like primers, but I kind of went crazy with the moisturizers. But the next one is the new e.l.f. moisturizer. It's called their Happy Hydration Nourishing Face Cream. They also have a new primer. They have a new facial oil, but I wanted to just try out the moisturizers because I it's just something about a moisturizer that I really, really like. So this is how she looks, if I can get it out the box. So it's a nice little frosted jar. Let me open it and smell it and see if it has a scent. And I also want to see the texture of this too. Looks, okay, it doesn't really have a scent, but it looks really creamy. It's actually thicker than that, um, the Garnier moisturizer but it feels really good oh yeah it actually feels thinner than the hello hydration face cream that one is a little bit like it's a little thick but it's not like extra extra thick but this one feels a little thinner than that one but it does absorb really fast too Ooh, it makes my hand feel so smooth girl and they came out with new putty primers. So I decided to get the matte one. I was not a huge fan of the original one. I know everybody, everybody loved that one. But for some reason, that one made my skin really oily. Like I could wear it for up to maybe four or five hours. And then after that, my skin starts to get really, really greasy and shiny, especially in this area right here and also around my chin. I don't know what it was about that primer, but I just, I wasn't a huge fan of it. But this one is the matte one. So as y'all know, well, as a lot of you know, um, I do have an oily T-zone and I usually like to use mattifying primers in my T-zones. So this one, I think I would, well, I don't want to say I would like because I haven't tried it out, but I feel like while well, crossing fingers that I like this one than I do um, more than I do with the original one. So it's in the same type of packaging it is white and they also have a new hydrating one too but i decided to get the matte one just to try it out so i'll definitely definitely i'll probably do like a full day wear test um testing out this primer because i really want to see how well it holds my makeup up and just see how well it keeps everything in place or just see how my t-zone looks by the end of the day with this primer so i'll definitely be using that and update you guys on that and then next we have their new halo glow setting powders i didn't know what shade to get i think these were like eight dollars a piece so i went ahead and got both this one is deep and then i got the shade medium so i haven't seen any reviews on this powder i don't know so i don't know i don't i don't know i don't know what to expect which is a good thing because I really don't like to watch a review before I actually try the product out. So this is definitely going to get some use this week. Um, and I'm actually filming my first impressions video this week. So I don't know when the video is going to go up. But yes, um, it says it sets makeup and creates a soft focus blurred finish. So I got both of those. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed another one of my favorite clear glosses. This is the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. I have gone through two of these already. This is my third one. And I saw that they came out with new shades in the same exact formula. So I grabbed the shade Fantasy. They have two other shades, but they were a little bit too pinky for my liking. But this is like a, um, a champagne shimmery color. And I've already used it, but I want to show you guys how it looks swatched. It's just clear, but it has a little bit of a glow to it, like a, um, a gold champagne glow to it. And it's not too frosty. It may look a little frosty in the packaging, but once you apply it, I'm going to apply a little bit on my lips. It's honestly not frosty at all. And it feels just like the clear gloss. Like it's not sticky. It's very smooth and just... Mm, I just love 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 these so I went ahead and grabbed a new one and I also restocked up on my favorite one and then I saw that covergirl had a new mascara this is called their exhibitionist uncensored mascara I love 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 the original exhibitionist mascara it comes in like a little silver tube I went ahead and used that one up so I'm excited to try this one out it looks like just from the looks of it 
it looks like the brush, like the little um, wand will be really good for my lashes. Now, I don't know. I'm just looking off, you know, just looking at the picture on here, but I feel like it'll be good. It says up to 24 hour wear. They have a waterproof one and they also have this one. This one is the original one. I got the shade Extreme Black, but I am excited to try this one out. And I saw that Revlon came out with these new highlighters. This one is called their Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. Let me open her up and swatch her for ya. Y'all can see that I am prepared today. I got my tweezers, I am prepared. So this one is called Twilight Gleam and this is the second one, um, well the second one. They have three in total. I really wanted to get the third one because that one is more gold. But looking at this, it actually looks like it'll be something that won't look too, ooh, yes. I could definitely see myself wearing this so it doesn't look too white or too ashy and it feels silky like some drugstore highlighters they kind of feel a little chunky but this one feels so 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 silky and I feel like this will kind of give me that wet look on my face so I'm excited for this. Maybelline has a new eyeshadow palette called the Nudes of New York. This one is probably the only nude palette that really stood out to me over all the other ones that they have. Like the other ones they have, they look really light and ashy and just something I know I wouldn't wear. But this one, I could definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of it because it's a lot of neutral shades. Like it's not all light, ashy colors. Like these colors, I can, I can work with these. Let me show y'all, let me get it open. This is how she looks on the inside. This looks so good. So here's a close up. It may look a little washed out because of my lights, but let's swatch. Let's do some swatches. Okay, this color right here, these two shades. This, ugh, yeah. Just looking at this palette, I feel like maybe one, two, three, four, Five shades out of all the shades in here, I feel like I probably won't even dip into because they're so light. But all these other ones, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for y'all. Wow, that is pigmented. I feel like Maybelline is a hit and miss because not all of their eyeshadow palettes are good. But so far, these might be good. All right, there's, oh wow, that is pigmented. All right, that matte look, oh, oh, girl, wait a minute. Okay, those are four shades swatched right there. Right there. You know what, it's kind of giving me the um, Anastasia Soft Glam vibe. Like this actually looks like Anastasia Soft Glam. It's just missing a black shadow. That's the only thing it's missing is black. But all the other shades, girl, this looks just like Anastasia Soft Glam. Just like it. I wish y'all can see like what I'm talking about because it just looks so washed out from my lights. I hate that. But it looks so much like Soft Glam. I'm gonna swatch a couple of more shades in here. Let me see. All right, this shade right there. Oh, wow. That's pretty. These are pretty. These are some pretty colors. I mean, they look like Soft Glam by ABH. It's just a drugstore version of the palette, which I know a lot of us have a lot of neutral palettes um that could be an affordable dupe to soft glam but this one i definitely wanted to try because um it was the only like neutral palette by maybelline that really stood out to me versus all the other ones so i'm excited to give this a try so makeup obsessions has two new eyeshadow palettes in target you guys know um well if you remember i did 
a tutorial using one of their palettes but they brought out two more this one is their ratty dusk and this one really really caught my attention like the color story of this is so pretty and different even though the shades and like the shades themselves are not different it's just the color story um, so you have the greens, the teals, the bronze, just a lot of earthy tones in this palette. And you also have some plums, which are my favorite shades when it comes down to eyeshadows. I personally love the formula of this brand. Like even though I feel like I have some of these shades already, it's just the formula of these shadows that I really, really like. And they're so affordable. I also like how these palettes, um, how they made this palette where you can easily take out the single shadows. So if you have your own palette and you want to put more single shadows in that palette, you can easily take these out. So yes, I definitely look forward to trying this one out. I can look at this and like see several different looks that I can create. Sometimes I'll look at a palette and I'll have to really just sit there and think about, okay, what am I going to create? But looking at this, I see several different looks, like several, you guys. So I am excited for this. Again, this is the Ratty Dusk. Um, and the brand is Makeup Obsessions. And you can get this from Target. Okay, let's talk about Milani. If you don't know by now, Milani has really, really, really been throwing out a lot of new products this year. So they have their new Rose Water Prep and Refresh Hydrating Mist. So it's like a, just like a refresher, refreshing mist. So I got that. We also have a new primer by Milani. This is their new Rose, this is also in the Rose collection, but it's their new Prep and Hydrate Lightweight Base Primer. So on the back it says it hydrates, it brightens, and it plumps the skin. It also has hyaluronic acid. Um, and I can't read the other ingredients that it has. It's a long word. I can't pronounce it. But I'm excited to try this, y'all. I am excited to try that. Another one from Milani is their new Green Goddess Cannabis Seed Oil. I don't know how I'm going to like this. I honestly don't know. But I want to give it a try. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to try this out and just see if it's any good and since the weather is still pretty like it's still pretty cool outside i like to use a lot of hydrating products on my skin so can i open this there we go all right so this is how the bottle looks and it is glass and it just comes in this drop little dropper has a really well is that my other stuff that I'm smelling I don't know I have so much on my hands but um, but yeah this is how it looks so on the back it does say um, with as far as the ingredients it has um, vitamin E it has rosemary and sunflower extracts so cannot wait to give this a try Milani also has a lot of eyeshadow palettes but I did not pick up not one of their eyeshadow palettes because y'all know I don't need anymore but i did grab their foundations these are the ones that i grabbed from ulta which i showed you guys in my recent vlog so i just wanted to show it on this video if you guys did not watch that vlog but yeah these are their screen queen natural finish foundations and i grabbed two shades because i did not know which shade would work best i did swatch them in ulta one actually looked um a little orange and then the other one looked a little too neutral and there was not a shade in between these and to be honest with you guys i can never tell if a foundation is really and truly going to work for me just by the swatches on my hand so i did swatch these on my hand so i don't know um one of these may be my perfect perfect match so we will be testing these out in a video pretty soon but oh by the way the shades i got the shade 480 spiced toffee and 500 natural toffee so spice toffee is the one that looked a little um orange and then natural toffee actually looked a little too neutral but we will definitely be trying these out i'm gonna film this video tomorrow let's see the video that's going this video is going up on wednesday um i'm gonna try my best to have the video of me testing all of the affordable drugstore products up on friday Fingers crossed that I can do that. Um, if not Friday, it's going to be maybe Sunday, but pretty, pretty soon. So stay 
on the lookout for that. So I also grabbed two more glosses. I don't know why everybody is talking about this gloss. It's called Cinnamon Roll. It's by NYX. It's the butter gloss. And this is supposedly the shade that's always, still, um, well, that got discontinued. But I don't know. People were just going crazy over this gloss on Twitter. And I was like, okay, this better be a shade that I don't have because the way people were going crazy over it and they just brought it back after it being discontinued. So, whoa. so let's see how this looks. I'm telling y'all, this better be a, a nude that I don't have for everybody to be going crazy over this color. It better be a nude that I don't have. It looks pretty dark. It looks kind of like a plum. Oh yeah, it's pretty, but I have this color in something because it's, it's that plum berry nude. I thought it was gonna be one of those brown beige looking nudes, but it's like a mauve. And I have a ton of shades like this. Lately, I've been into the nudes that are more beige, like the brown tan looking nudes, not so much the mauves. I used to wear mauves all the time. Like that is pretty much all the shades that I wore back in the day, but now I'm really leaning into more of those brown, beigey looking nudes that's not like pinky or peachy looking, but it's it's cute, it's cute. And then I also got another one. This is one of their new shades. Well, it said new on the display, but it's called Bit of Honey, and this is another NYX Butter Gloss. I didn't know that they were coming out with new shades in this gloss, because this has been out forever. Like this is one of my first drugstore glosses that I've ever tried. And the shade that I used, um, that I bought, like my very first shade was called Parfait. It's like a, a really pink magenta color. But this is Bit of Honey. Yeah, Bit of Honey. And this just looks like a peachy nude. It's pretty. It's actually really pretty. I think this will look so pretty on top of, um, Dang, what is that shade by Minted? It's a lipstick. It's called Peach Peach Please. This will look so pretty on top of that lipstick. That's cute. All right, so this next purchase is a liquid blush. I love, love, love the NARS liquid, brush, um, liquid blush in the shade Dolce Vita. And I think that's really why I purchased this because I wanted to kind of branch out and try out different liquid blushes and I like how this one has a doe foot applicator so this did I tell you guys the brand it's Revolution Pro you can get it from Ulta very affordable I think this was under ten dollars very cheap but I like how this has a doe foot applicator so it's gonna be easy um ooh, excuse me so it's gonna make it so easy to apply and then just kind of blend it out with my beauty blender I got the shade peaches and it's just a Pretty, pretty, pretty peachy color. So I'm gonna show y'all how this looks. Oh, yes. Oh, that's so pretty. Do y'all, can y'all, there you go. You can see it right there. It's so pretty. This is gonna be so perfect for spring and summer. I'm gonna put a little bit more just so y'all can see it some more. And I feel like I can definitely um, build it up. I'll just use like a beauty blend, um, a beauty sponge to blend it out on my face. Look how pretty that is. It doesn't have any shimmer in it, so it is matte. And I like how it dries down really, really fast. So I feel like I could probably use like a brush to blend it out, but I'll probably more so use a beauty sponge to just tap it on my cheeks and then um, just blend it out that way. But that is so cute. Okay. All right, so this next product is actually one that I've already tried out. This is what I have on my face right now. It's the new, well, it's not new, but it's um, the Ulta Beauty Youthful Glow Primer Serum. I've seen this in Ulta so many times, I just never purchased it. Um, but yeah, so it's their Youthful Glow Serum. It has hyaluronic acid, acai, and blueberry fruit extracts. I can tell you now, this is gonna be my go-to lightweight primer serum for the spring and summer because it is so, so lightweight. It's kinda like the, the Too Faced Hangover Serum. You guys know how 
thin that feels well if you tried it out it's really lightweight on the skin it does give you a nice natural glow and it also kind of has that same texture so it's really really lightweight i'm gonna drop a little bit on my hand um so y'all can see it it comes in a nice little drop tube and just rub it on my hand very 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 light you guys and it absorbs really fast in the skin it makes my skin feel smooth it also gives it a nice glow i feel like i can wear this by itself if i wanted to i can mix it in with my moisturizers um i'll wear it under my makeup like i'm doing right now but yeah it's really nice really lightweight and it's definitely affordable all right so the very last thing that i grabbed was this new revolution pro skin finish so this looks just like the mac mineralized skin finish it's just cheaper but I got the shade golden flare and I'm gonna swatch this so y'all can see so this is how it looks on the inside so it looks just like the MAC mineralized skin finish um, what is the shade gold I think gold deposit so this is it right there look at that it's so pretty and I like how this feels silky it doesn't feel crummy it doesn't feel gritty it doesn't feel um, it just feels really silky smooth so yeah that is the revolution pro skin finish and i never owned the one by mac i think it was called um gold deposit i believe i think it was called gold deposit but i never owned it so this will be a good dupe to that if you guys um were looking for something that's a little bit more affordable but yes girl that is everything that i wanted to share in today's haul i hope you enjoyed it let us know if you tried anything out from this haul or if there's any new products that you have tried out recently let us know so let's go ahead and chit chat down below in the comments by the way i am doing my monthly giveaways every month this year so every month i give away one box to one person and it's really easy to enter all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section and i never want the comments to be anything about the giveaway let's talk about the products that i shared in today's video whether you like them whether you don't like them or just any products that you guys have been trying out recently let us know so let's go ahead and chit chat about it down below in the comments and that is all so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next one bye